Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Diamond. So, let's talk about some shit. There was a trans woman that was murdered yesterday, or day before yesterday, uh, Malaysia Booker. A month before, she was in a viral video where she was being attacked by a mob in Dallas. And here we are a month later, the same girl was murdered and shot to death. So, everybody is talking about it, and I wanted to talk, add my two cents to the situation because um, there's some behind-the-scenes um, information that I'm privy to because I'm connected to Dallas that I just don't feel comfortable not talking about. So, because of the nature of how black trans women are being exploited for clicks, when they talk about this particular story, they are going to talk about, you know... All the shit that black trans women um, go through and how we're being murdered and how our average life expectancy is 35. They're going to be over it. They're going to be mad. They're going to be, oh, why are we not doing anything? People are going to share a link. People are going to tweet about it. People are going to say enough is enough. They've been saying enough is enough. People are going to... Um, blame her, you know, if they're, if they're not trans or they're not in the LGBT community, they're going to say things like, oh, well, this is what happened when you live that lifestyle. They're going to say, um, you know, there's just so many things that are going to be said that are normally said when black trans women are murdered or killed. Um, you know, one of the antiquated things is, oh, she must have been tricking somebody. We're past that. Because we know that's not true. But what folks are not going to be talking about is how black trans women have become the fundraising workhorse for these fucking shady ass nonprofit organizations. They will insert themselves into the situation under the guise that we are protecting trans women. They will create press conferences and they'll bring the trans woman in. Oh, look at the poor trans women. We need funding to protect them. Oh, what, one second. Make sure that our logo is our logo is in the shot for our organization. It's in the shot. Okay, yes. Our poor trans women are being murdered in the street. Can you see me? Do I look good? I'm the executive director of this program. All right. Yes. Yeah, so our poor trans women are being murdered in the street and they need our help. Is the link right? Are you posting the link for our donations on the website? Are you tweeting it out? Are you Facebooking it? Are you putting an Instagram post with our link to it? Our link is in the bio. Make sure you donate. Okay, that's that's being done. But yes, our poor trans women need protection. These are our sisters. Trans women are women. This is the narrative. This is the intersectionality. This is the all the great words that the people have given us to to say these things. And I'm going to use all the words and all the things and say all the cliche things that motherfuckers has been saying for years to make motherfuckers give them money for the black trans experience, for the black trans um, woe is me narrative. And these motherfuckers have been doing this for years. Understand. They will come in, they will get all the coins, and then, guess what? The coins do not affect the efficacy of their programming. Their programming stays the same. Their their ineffective programming stays the same. So it does not actually help trans people. So the money you give into them does not actually help trans people. It just does not. That's just the facts of the matter. If you go to any city, I travel around the country. And any city, when you talk to trans folks on the ground, in the grassroots... They will tell you that this organization ain't shit. And all of them have a reputation for not being shit. It's, that's not one. There's a couple of organizations that, you know, try to do right. And usually the ones that are trying to do right don't have enough funding. Because they're not jumping on the bandwagon to display a negative narrative. So they're getting this money and they're not doing anything 
for the trans community. And particularly Malaysia Booker. So last month, she was attacked. And everybody, let's create a press conference. Let's do this. Blah, 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 blah. They got all this funding. They had a GoFundMe. They had all this shit to try to get coins to exploit her. It was not to protect her. It was to exploit her. And so now, because they didn't use the funding funding to get her out of the situation, to get her out of the situation and protect it, the same community, the black community, I wanna go, I wanna clock that. The her her hood community that she was a part of is the same community that mobbed her and attacked her, killed her. Okay? Wanna point that out. So instead of using the money to relocate her, they failed her. So a month later, she's dead in a morgue because the organizations that she trusted to hold her narrative and hold her experiences and put it out there to the world and and fundraise. I'm not it's, I'm not against fundraising because it takes funds to help people, but you got to do what's right with the money that you get. And if your programming to protect trans women that are in these situations does not include protecting them, does not include relocating them, that does not include keeping them safe, then your programming is not working. And I can tell you why the motherfucking programming is not working, because you don't hire black women and you don't hire, let alone hire black trans women. And in Dallas, there's only one organization that's ran and operated by trans folks, and that's BTAC. Black Trans Advocacy Coalition. Malaysia didn't contact them. And when they was trying to contact her, she was already in cahoots with another shady ass program that was that's not ran by black trans folks. So they're not gonna have your best interest at best interest at heart. So then you have exploitation. If you're not hiring black women to be a part of your program creation, you are failing. Because you are creating programming from the outside, trying to figure out what's happening on the inside. You have to hire black women, specifically black trans women. If you're not doing that, you are failing. From my lived experiences, and lived experience is fucking, is fucking valuable as any fucking study. From my lived experience, I know that there is a correlation between and a connection between the astronomical rate that black trans women are being murdered. And the report that the CDC reported about black cis women, their leading, one of their leading cause of death is intimate partner homicide. So what that tells me is that, that, that we are being murdered by people who we are in community with. And there's a connection between the two. Black women, cis or trans, are being mur- murdered at astronomical rates by people with, that we are in community with. That is a problem. And so, you wouldn't know that if you're not a black woman, cis or trans. We've been knowing that. We've been telling y'all motherfuckers. So, that's why when you all have programming in an organization, if you are targeting to help black people, black trans people, black women, you need to hire these people on your staff to create and pay them well to create your programming. We got conferences that are ran by cis cis folks for trans folks recently that was there's a conference that was created and built from the ground up by a black trans woman and now that she has passed away it has gone to shit black folks has been delegated to one or two three tracks when this whole thing was created by a black trans woman we got organization run by gay men white Gay men that say they do that say they center the least among us, but they don't. They center their motherfucking selves. They're sit back now that they got um, marriage equality under their arm. They sit back and chill and just look for strategies to be able to exploit the new narrative, which is the trans narrative. They don't have black folks on their staff. They don't have trans folks on their staff. They don't have black trans folks on their staff. They're not doing any motherfucking thing that is effective to help the black trans community. They're just not. They're not doing it. And so our job as the community is to hold these motherfuckers accountable. 
Why are they not hiring trans folks and paying them great? Hmm? Why are they not? Why are trans folks not being able to trust them, yet they are getting money? Where are these celebrity trans folks at? Besides tweeting a tweet, you know, getting a soundbite, where are they at? What are they doing? Besides just blending in a cis heteronormativity when it comes to celebrity. Where's the black church? You know, the Christians who are showing the, the real love of God, the real compassion. You know, where are those, those people at? You know, I think, I think it's, it's, it's just getting out of hand. It, 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 the way they are using us as a, a fundraising tactical strategy. Like we are the workhorse. We are the workhorse narrative. It is our stories and our bodies that are being killed and our, and our own community is exploiting that to fundraise money. And that would be co- cool if the money was turning into actual survival mechanism for us to survive and live and not be underground. So, so when you see these organizations that are tweeting and making videos and doing this and doing that, and they and hold them accountable. If they're not doing shit, ask them what they're fucking doing, actually doing. Ask the girls who are a part of these. If they don't have any trans folks on their staff, they ain't shit. Fuck them. Read the fuck out of them. And we're not talking about one token trans folk because they love to do that. Look, we have a trans person. Mm-hmm. She hands out our gift cards. <laughs> when we give the gift cards to the trans community, she hands them out. Look at her. When we just got a million from this person. We just got hundreds of thousands for this person. But we're handing the girls on the street $50 gift cards just to come and be a part of this program so we can have the numbers (laughs) so that our funders can so we can show our funders look how many trans people we handed out condoms to on the host roll can you continue to give us a hundred and fifty thousand dollars thank you so much we handed out the condoms see that shit ain't cute that these motherfuckers ain't shit and we have to hold them accountable so um Rest in peace, Malaysia Booker. They failed you. They didn't protect you. They didn't relocate you. They put you on display. They exploited your story in order to get funding. And they didn't protect you with that funding. And so now you are dead, and I apologize for them. Because I know they're not going to admit it. Oh, well. This is your girl, Diamond. Bye.